When I was in seminary, right at the beginning of my master's degree, our professor came in the room and asked us a question. He asked, when was the last time you sinned? And I remember thinking, what a bad attitude, driving here this morning, like, <laughs> where do I start? And then he did something that I've never seen anyone do since, and it was really interesting. He stood in front of the class and said this, I can't remember the last time that I sinned. It must have been weeks or months ago. And I remember in that moment thinking, sir, you are sinning right now with that pompous and arrogant attitude and really a denial of reality. Let's be honest. We all sin. We all mess up. We all fall short of the glory of God. So what do we do? What do we do if we've sinned? Well, what's interesting is there is this lost art that seems to have just gone away ever since the Reformation. And that is the practice, the discipline of confession. If you sin against God and it is heavy on your heart and you can't escape it, you need to confess that to God and tell him, admit that you have wronged him. You have sinned against him. And in fact, if you have sinned against someone else, you should confess that to that person. And you don't have to make a big deal about it. You simply say, what I did was wrong. I'm sorry for it. Will you forgive me? And we've talked a lot on this channel about how forgiveness is a one-way street. Reconciliation is when both parties agree to forgive and move on. Oftentimes, people will ruin an apology with an excuse. I want to encourage you, never spoil an apology with an excuse. Because if you're like me, whenever we sin, maybe we're just tired, we're frustrated, and we have a bad attitude, we say something that we can't take back, we say something that we regret, we do something harmful to someone else. If you're like me, what happens is we go straight into our brains and we justify it. We say, well, I acted that way because of this. Or I treated this person this way because the situation deemed it necessary. If you've sinned, just confess it. Don't make excuses. Just admit that you're wrong. That takes humility. And people see that, especially your brothers and sisters in Christ. And the reality is, we can only be honest with God because He knows everything. He knows our thoughts, He knows our actions, and He has forgiven us anyways. And we don't continue to sin, as Romans chapter 6 says, so that grace may increase. If we know we're going to be forgiven, why don't we just do whatever we want, right? No. God has given you a new nature. And you will mess up. You will fall short. You'll beat yourself up for it. And the way to move on, it begins with confession. Don't spoil an apology with an excuse. Just be honest and real and hand that over to the Lord and ask Him to forgive you. And if you need to, go to someone else and say, I'm sorry for what I did. It was wrong. Will you forgive me? Confession leads to repentance. Confession leads to forsaking your sin. Confession leads to committing yourself to godly behavior so that you don't repeat your same mistakes. Never spoil an apology with an excuse.